Hey guys, Victor here. In today's video, I will dive headfirst into the rabbit hole that is NFTs, non-fungible tokens, and dissect exactly what it is and how people like Beeple and Logan Paul have made over $60 million with NFTs already. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> Hey guys, Victor here. On this channel we talk about personal finance, investing and real estate and my goal is really to share the secrets that help me build an investment portfolio of over 1 million dollars with you guys so that you can do the same and hopefully down the road somewhere become financially free together with myself. With that said, let's dive into the video. So to the point, NFTs, non-fungible tokens, what are they? What does that even mean? How can people make money with them? And more importantly, how can you make money with creating your own NFTs? As always, I've broken this video down into five simple chapters, which you'll find by hoovering over the play bar here on YouTube to make it easier for you to kind of take all of this in because there's a lot. Number uno, what is an NFT? So an NFT lives on the blockchain. Blockchain being the technology behind cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum and others. But the easiest way of describing an NFT is that an NFT could be considered a digital certificate of authenticity. Which means that if you have a picture of a cat online, it could be millions of that picture, but it's only one original. And that original can actually be confirmed as being the original by using the blockchain technology where the NFT lives. So in theory, even if there could be several copies of that picture spread all over the internet, social media, etc., you will always know that the one you bought is the original. Pretty much like the Mona Lisa hanging in the Louvre by Leonardo da Vinci. There is only one Mona Lisa, but there's pictures of Mona Lisa all over the place if you Google. But there's only one original. And with this new technology, digital art can be traded just like normal, ordinary art because there's only gonna be one owner of the actual original at any one time. And that brings us in to supply and demand. If there's five copies of a piece of digital art, but there's 10 people willing to buy that piece of digital art, the price is gonna go up because there's a lower supply than demand, just like with normal art. And with that said, onwards to point number dos. What are the benefits of an NFT? So one very clear benefit of an NFT is that opposed to a normal picture, the Mona Lisa or what have you, which only is a picture and it's only ever going to be a picture really, an NFT can include other things as well because it's digital. So an NFT can include a code into a secret society or a club or a community or a membership program. It can include backstage passes for lifetime to a certain EDM artist concerts like Blau. It can include discounts for merchandise. It can also include with a code hidden inside of the NFT that you're buying digitally, an opportunity to use that code to actually get something physical like a trading card or an actual painting of the NFT. Another thing that's super cool with NFTs is how creators actually get compensated for selling the NFTs. So if I drew a normal painting, I'd sell that painting for a thousand dollars and that's the money I get. And you know, if someone else then goes on selling it for a hundred thousand dollars in 10 years time, I'm not gonna see any of that commission as a creator. But with an NFT, I can code into the smart contract of the non-fungible token that every time it sells, even in the future, regardless of how long in the future, I'll get a 10% cut of whatever it sells for. So when I originally sell it, I'll get the thousand dollars. Then when someone else sells it for a million dollars, I'll still get 10%, for example, which is another hundred thousand dollars for me. So the creator actually gets compensated in a way more fair way for the work that they put into creating these digital assets. Something that I also heard on the Colin and Samir podcast, and I really, and I was super intrigued by it, that's the opportunity of using NFTs as a way to kind of buy stocks, if you will, in a specific creator. So for example, if I were to release an NFT today, 
probably wouldn't be worth that much because I'm not a known creator, I'm not famous, I don't really bring anything to the table in those areas and categories. As opposed to if Barack Obama released an NFT, people would be like, oof, this might go up in value because he's a pretty famous guy and we believe in him. But let's say I sold an NFT anyway for $20. You bought it and in five years time, I have a million subscribers on YouTube and I have a lot of influence with, with that audience. Those $20 that you paid for buying my NFT, you might actually be able to resell the NFT for $1,000 if the NFT included something like one-on-one -on -one meetings with me once every week. So I think that concept of kind of buying stocks in a creator is super, super cool and really creative. Onwards to bullet point number three. How to actually make money with NFTs. So if we're looking at artists like Stevie Aoki, Blau and Beeple, they've made millions of dollars selling their non-fungible tokens. Stevie Aoki sold a digital 3D rendering over at Nifty Gateway, which is one of the marketplaces for NFTs. I'll get back into that later in the video. EDM artist Blau created his own webpage and gamified the auction experience of buying his NFTs which contained membership into private clubs, lifetime access to all of his concerts, and he made over $11 million in the course of a couple of hours selling that NFT. Then we have the today probably most famous of all, Beeple. Beeple is a digital artist using mainly 3D that I've been following on Instagram amongst other places for the past couple of years. It's super cool and he's done one piece of art every day for now over 5,000 days. And now when NFTs came along, he decided to firstly try selling one NFT. It's a piece showing a not so flattering picture of Donald Trump <laughs> passed out on a piece of grass with graffiti on him. That sold for six million something dollars back in the end of 2020. And now when he's over 5,000 days of one piece of art per day he sells that entire collection first 5000 days i think it's called something like that and he managed to sell that collection of digital art for wait for it 69 million dollars it's bonkers so just to show you how bonkers it is here's some footage of him reacting to the actual sale for $69 million. And the really cool thing with the Beeple sale is that was done in collaboration with Christie's, which is a conventional auction house selling conventional art up until this point, really. And they said that out of the 33 people bidding the price all the way up to $69 million, 30 were new customers to Christie's. So NFTs is a way to reach today's art interested audience. People with a lot of money that want to invest in art, but they're not particularly interested in buying oil paintings that are a couple of hundred years old. And finally, moving into one of the other, I would say now considered big players of the NFT space, which is Logan Paul. Think what you will of the guy, but he is pretty smart when it comes to business moves. So Logan Paul made a digital trading card of himself really, that he sold for a couple of thousand dollars per card, depending on what level of card you bought. And he sold out in a couple of minutes or hours and made over $5 million. I'm not entirely sure what the card included other than the digital asset, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was a couple of other perks in there as well. With all of that said, I'm sure you wonder, how do I buy an NFT, Victor? And let's get into that because that's bullet point number four. So there's a couple of different ways of buying NFTs. Some are more difficult and some are easier. So I'll just be sharing four of the most common ways. So one way is to set up a wallet on a web page called metamask.io, where you can just use your uh, dollars or euros or whatever currency you work with in your country and buy Ethereum. Ethereum being a blockchain cryptocurrency, which is usually preferred when buying NFTs because it's just one of the biggest cryptocurrencies out there. You can then use your Ethereum to actually buy NFTs on a number of different websites and marketplaces, including websites like the one EDM artist Blau put up, 
which was his own. So that was outside of a marketplace, but they accepted Ethereum. However, this way of doing it is a little bit complicated. So onwards to the next way, which is easier. By far the biggest marketplace for buying NFTs right now is a website called OpenSea.io. So that's like any marketplace out there, like the Amazon for books originally, etc. So this is a web place that specifically only sells NFTs. And this is definitely the place to go if you want to find the broadest amount of different NFTs to potentially buy or invest in. Another really big marketplace out there is niftygateway.com and you also have makersplace.com. And on these marketplaces, you simply have to enter your credit card details. And then when you buy the NFT, your money will automatically be converted into Ethereum or whatever other cryptocurrency used to buy the NFTs and then you'll get the NFT. So you really won't have to go through the hassle of setting up a wallet, making the currency exchanges, etc, etc. All right, on to the final point of the day, number five, how to make your own NFTs. And this step is probably the simplest, yet also the hardest uh, of them all, because in essence, you just need to make a picture or a song or something digital that is the NFT. So any kind of digital art, that's the first step. You then find a marketplace where you want to upload it, potentially one of the marketplaces I shared previously in the video. You upload the picture, you then decide if the picture should include any perks, uh, such as backstage passes, one-on-one uh, -on -one talk with you every week, or whatever it might be. And then you'll just set a starting price point for the auction of the NFT, as well as kind of a launch date or release date of the actual sale. You could of course also create your own website and create your own kind of auctioning feature from scratch, but that obviously takes a lot more resources, time and knowledge, but it could also generate a lot more money like it did for Blau when he specifically used his educational background in gamification to gamify the auction experience, which meant that every time someone placed a new bid, the auction extended for a couple of minutes, all the way up to him selling again his NFT for $11 million. That's just bonkers. So in summary, I think NFTs are super cool. It's definitely made someone like myself, who have not originally been interested in buying art at all, really more interested in buying art because it feels so much more accessible from a technical point of view when buying and especially when selling. So I mean, I could go out and buy a painting hanging on a wall as an investment, but if I wanted to sell that painting, that feels like a hassle, that feels like a lot of work. But if I had an NFT, which is digital, in a digital wallet online, I could theoretically sell it in an instant. And if I list it on the right price, it's probably gonna sell pretty quick. I also think it is a great foundation for creators out there. There are so many amazingly talented people that I would like to take part of that haven't been able to kind of share their digital art and actually monetize it in a way like NFTs allows them to do now. So I think it's a great opportunity for them and I'm super excited to see all of the new art popping up and where this space takes us going forward for the creators, for the sports industry and the athletes being able to maybe negotiate in NFT cuts in their contracts, etc. So the future looks bright. And the final question that I leave you guys with is have you looked into NFTs? Are you dropping any NFTs? Have you bought any NFTs? Any recommendations for me? Because I haven't bought any yet. Uh, drop a comment below and uh, let me know what you think. My name is Victor, you guys are awesome and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.